fence with my sidekick, Nana. Our next, guest, our next guest is Yardley Smith. She's the voice behind the lovable Lisa on the popular show, The Simpsons. Incredibly good show. Every Sunday on Fox, watch this clip. Take a look. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. The Simpsons Thanks. is a great show. Yes. Just great. <laughs> I, I grew up watching cartoons. Did you do that? Yes, I did. Yeah. I loved, but I love cartoons that are great visual. Like, I love Mighty Mouse. I loved um, the Flintstones. I loved the Jetsons. Yeah. I didn't like Rocky and Bullwinkle. I'm probably the only person on the planet who didn't. Why didn't you like that? Because there's nothing to see. Yeah. I mean, it was jokes, 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 you know? Yeah. And to me, there was no set. I mean, Mighty Mouse had a set. He had a city. He flew through this entire city, <laughs> even if it was the same one the, every frame. Even his cartoon, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but he had, like, he had a costume. He had things. He had props. Yeah, props are important it for cartoons. It was big. It was colorful. It was nice. Did you watch uh, Underdog? I used to watch Underdog. I loved Underdog. Yeah. He was so sad. And his girlfriend was? Oh. Sweet Paul. Pure yes, oh, and she that was. was. Great cartoon. Did you, uh, The Simpsons is, is, they all love your voice, you uh, see. This happens a lot here. Here's the pause and think, she sounds kind of funny. Does she really talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask. Does she really, of course you do. Yes. This is your voice. Um, growing up, watching those cartoons, and then we see The Simpsons, which is such a different cartoon. Yes. What do you think the success of The Simpsons is all about? Well, I think, um, a lot of it is, I guess, that we really have a lot of leeway. We're able to tell the truth in a way that you can't tell with real people. Yeah. I think because it's animated, you, um, you have enough of a barrier to say things that people might find offensive or be sort of appalled or the censors would go, no way, you know, because it's animated. Yeah. And I think, we, I mean, we get away with so much, yeah. but it's really true. I mean, we're not the Brady Bunch. We're a little sick. Yeah. And it's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> You personally are a little sick. Yes, personally, yes. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, and that, that's for real, because I know you have this thing about horror films. You've been in a oh, couple... Oh, I do, yes. I did this um, Stephen King film, this Maximum Overdrive, and I can't bear horror films. When I was a kid, I was such a sissy, and I never went unless I was dragged, dragged, kicking and screaming. And um, it, when I finally made one, it was so funny, because... Here you see these guys with bottles of, you know, blood, not really blood, but chemicals that they've mixed up. They're spreading it all over the wall. They spend hours trying to figure out how to make this person look like his arm was cut off with globular globs of who knows what, and you just look, ew. I mean, it's like recipes. It was really funny. So have you become a fan of horror films? Now it's easier no. for you to watch them? No. You hate them. I hate them still. <laughs> When you're, uh, when you're doing The Simpsons, is there room for the actors to improvise, or yes. are all the lines scripted? Uh, well, all of, the, all of the lines are scripted, but um, we do the voices first, and then they animate. Hmm. So in case we're incredibly brilliant, then they can <laughs> slip it in. Yeah. We're not tied to, uh, to a picture already. You, in a, in a cartoon, it's not as personal, I think, if you get cut out of you know, a scene. If a scene doesn't work and they cut you out, oh, it's not yeah? you. But it is... <laughs> Whoa. No, it's okay. not. It, not. But I mean, you've, you and I yes. both as actors have been cut out. Absolutely. You're... And sometimes you're grateful, and sometimes it's really sad. <laughs> like I did, I actually played Roseanne Barr uh, in She Devil 17 years before you see her. Because in the beginning of the book, she, the book starts out or something where, you know, she's a young girl and you see how she met her husband and, you know, he knocked her up and he had to marry her and so it was Christmas Eve and it was terrible. So they shot that segment with me and a guy who was a dead ringer for Ed Begley Jr. You have never seen such a likeness in your life. Ed Begley Jr. 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 I mean, he, it was incredible. So we shot this whole thing and then they cut the first 12 minutes of the film, so... All my, actually, it wasn't so embarrassing for me. I mean, it happens all the time, so you go, okay. But all my friends were calling me up and going, but Yardley, I told all my friends, friends, friends. And then they watch the film and they go, yeah, yeah, I bet she's the one in the back. I had the one buying the Snickers bar with her back to us so you can't see. They don't really believe that you're an actor. It's quite funny. You, sometimes you get laughs off, sometimes you get laughs off of things that other people don't get laughs off. Is it because of the way you talk? I, I, I think sometimes. I have the worst time on the telephone. When, when I call up, for instance, once I tried to order Life magazine over the phone subscription, they hung up on me. They said, you have to be 18. I said, I'm 20. They said, uh-huh. And they hung up on me. And I called back three times. They would have nothing to do with me. And all the time people call and I go, is your mother home? Can I talk to the lady of the house? And I'm like, 
And sometimes it's great because if it's that mail order advertising thing, you know, sometimes people call up and they want to sell you a subscription. Oh, and they you go, call you. Uh huh. And you go, no, she's not home, and I don't know when she'll be back. <laughs> You do these great baby voices and children's voices, but how old are you? I'm old. Are you allowed no. to say that? Is that know. rude, Nana? Is that rude for me to ask? No, that? Okay. not at all. I'm 25. Okay. And, and wow, <laughs> there was a murmur there. There, there was, was an excitement. A, that's because I thought I was 12. <laughs> but a good 12. Yes. Yeah. And, and you got married this year. I did. I got 25. married on New Year's Day. Oh, well, congratulations! Thank you. You grab, uh, it's so cute, I mean, you, you grab your, your heart, is that because he still makes your heart flutter oh, like yes. that? Or is that just because you have angina or yeah, indigestion? Yeah, I have heartburn. Oh, you got married. <laughs> that shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> How was the wedding? Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. Um, everybody sort of questioned why we get married on New Year's Day, and of course, the avid sports fans wouldn't come because they had to watch the Rose Bowl or whatever that is <laughs> on that day. Um, but it's it was a football a game, wonderful... but that's not important right now. <laughs> right. It was totally irrelevant to us, but we got married in Washington, D.C., where I grew up, and it was wonderful. It had rained all week, and it was a beautiful, clear, crisp day on that day, and um, everybody was kind of mellow. You thought they'd all be totally tired out and sick of parties, but... Um, it was small enough, it was about 65 people, so yeah. that everybody was just really relaxed. And we had taken dance lessons at Arthur Murray, and I have to say, <laughs> we were great, and people wept. It was <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> it was great. I wish I had been invited, but you didn't think of me at all. No, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> Maybe like at the tenure, when you do well, your bouncing. we're going to get married again. Are you here in yeah. L.A.? Maybe. In case it didn't stick the first yeah. time or what? <laughs> no, just because isn't that a, like a nice romantic oh, thing to do? You should do that as often as you can. Every decade or congratulations so. Congratulations on your wedding. That's thank great. You. But big congratulations on The Simpsons. I enjoy it and I love yes. what you're doing on it. So oh, thanks. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure. We'll be right back after this message. Mickey Gillick is coming. Yeah.